Since its appearance, vaping has been sold to the world with a clean, modern and youthful image, combining design and striking flavors to disguise its true face behind neon colors and dense clouds. But what is behind the marketing? How did it manage to convince millions of people around the world, especially the younger ones, that inhaling chemicals is somehow healthy? The central message that the vaping industry exploits is simple and deceptively seductive. It is less harmful than smoking. This narrative is no accident. It is a carefully designed tactic that takes advantage of our tendency to seek less bad options when faced with vices or bad habits. But less harmful is not entirely true. And precisely in that confusion lies its power, generating a false sense of security. Advertising campaigns present smiling users, free from the health worries associated with traditional tobacco, conveniently forgetting to mention that nicotine is still there, powerful and more addictive than ever. This brings us to another key element, nicotine itself, a substance promoted by some vaping advocates as an ally for mental performance that supposedly improves concentration, reduces anxiety, and even increases creativity. But behind these supposed benefits, there is a much darker and scientifically proven truth. Nicotine is a highly addictive substance that profoundly alters brain chemistry. It is especially potent in adolescents and young adults whose brains are still developing, which means that the addiction it causes can be more intense and long lasting than that of a conventional cigarette. To verify this information, you can check with our free health coach at tuvisalud.com. He will answer any health, nutrition, and habit-related questions you may think of. But even if you ask our coach, you might still wonder, how can so many people fall into such an obvious trap? The answer is a clever combination of marketing, misinformation, and the classic human need for immediate gratification without apparent consequences. We are easily seduced by the promise of quick pleasure, especially when it seems to come at no cost. And vaping offers just that. Instant gratification without the apparent guilt of tobacco. But what is the real cost behind this momentary pleasure? Stay with me, because I promise you the answer is more alarming than you imagine. When you look at a vape from the outside, everything seems simple, elegant, even futuristic. But under that stylish surface, there is an ingeniously and worryingly effective machinery designed to deliver chemicals straight to your lungs with an ease that almost seems like magic. To understand the real risks of vaping, we must first understand exactly how this small and seemingly harmless device works. An average vape consists of three basic parts, a battery, an atomizer, and the liquid, commonly known as e-liquid, which becomes the vapor you inhale. The battery provides the energy that heats the coil inside the atomizer. This atomizer is a metal piece that quickly reaches very high temperatures, capable of transforming the liquid into a thick aerosol in just a fraction of a second. This aerosol is what you inhale deeply into your lungs. Although it is advertised as water vapor, the reality is very different. What actually enters your lungs is not harmless vapor, but rather a complex mixture of ultra-fine particles and dissolved chemicals ready to interact with your lung cells and pass directly into your bloodstream. An analogy may help you better understand the process. Think of body sprays or deodorants you usually use. These products contain similar chemicals and also create aerosols. But there is a fundamental and critical difference that we cannot overlook. Those sprays are designed to be applied on the skin a natural barrier that protects our body against most foreign substances. In contrast, the vape is specifically designed to bypass those natural barriers, depositing these chemicals directly into the lungs, one of the most delicate and important organs of the body. The reality is that this seemingly simple mechanism represents an open door to potential serious harm. And if you think you know what you're really inhaling, brace yourself. Because what we are going to discover in the next chapters can seriously make you question what you are putting into your body with each puff. Do you know exactly what is inside your vape? The answer could completely change your perspective on this seemingly harmless trend. Now that you know how a vape works, 
It is time to face a much more uncomfortable question. Do you really know what you're inhaling every time you take a puff? Most people believe, or at least hope, that the vapor from these devices is a simple mix of water, nicotine, and pleasant flavors. But the reality is considerably more unsettling. Let's start with the basic liquid, the so-called EE liquid, which theoretically contains few ingredients, primarily propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, nicotine, and flavorings. Propylene glycol is a clear, odorless solvent that is also used in food, cosmetics, and pharmaceutical products. It's marketed as safe because we consume it daily, but be careful. Consuming something orally is not the same as inhaling it directly into your lungs, where there aren't as effective mechanisms to neutralize these chemicals. Vegetable glycerin, on the other hand, it is a thick and sweet compound that produces those dense and attractive vapor clouds that vapors love to show on social media. However, again, the key point here is the way it enters the body. When hot vegetable glycerin is inhaled, the rules change drastically, and the body is not prepared to defend against these microparticles that penetrate deeply into the airways. But this is just the surface. Flavorings represent a particularly dark area within the world of vaping. The industry offers thousands of appealing flavors, from tropical fruits to tempting desserts. But many of these flavors contain artificial chemicals that are not clearly labeled. Recent research has found that some liquids contain dangerous chemicals, like diacetyl, a compound directly linked to serious lung diseases such as obliterative bronchiolitis, also known as popcorn lung. Furthermore, independent scientific analyses constantly reveal another worrying reality. Many vaping liquids contain substances not declared on the labels, from dangerous levels of nicotine to traces of THC, or even highly toxic chemicals like acetaldehyde or formaldehyde. And recently, even the chemical compound we exposed in this video, known as synthetic marijuana. This turns the consumer into an involuntary participant in a chemical Russian roulette, where no one can accurately guarantee what is truly entering your body. You might think I'm exaggerating, but consider this for a moment. If the cosmetic and food industries are highly regulated precisely because their products come into contact with our bodies, why does vaping, whose products we inhale directly into our lungs, not face similar strict controls? This regulatory gap is concerning and potentially dangerous. Have you been sold the idea that vaping is less harmful? But the question many forget to ask is, what really happens when you heat the chemicals you are inhaling? This is precisely where the most disturbing and hidden part of vaping begins. When you turn on your vape, you subject ingredients like propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin to extremely high temperatures in a matter of seconds. Under these conditions, something concerning begins to happen. These chemical substances, which seem harmless at room temperature, start to decompose and recombine, generating new, potentially toxic compounds, many of which have already been studied and catalogued as dangerous to human health. Recent research reveals that when heated to certain temperatures, propylene glycol and glycerin generate substances such as formaldehyde, acrolein, and acetaldehyde, if these names are not familiar to you, let me give you a clearer idea. Formaldehyde is a known human carcinogen used in industrial processes for embalming corpses. Acrolein is an extremely potent lung irritant, and acetaldehyde is directly associated with cellular damage and cancer development. If this is not enough to make you question your habit, let me go deeper. Inside the vape, the heat not only transforms the liquids, but also directly affects the coil, that small metal wire that heats the e-liquid. Scientific studies have shown that these devices, especially the cheaper or faulty ones, release metal particles like nickel, lead, cadmium, and even chromium. Can you imagine inhaling microscopic particles of heavy metals daily that lodge deep in your lungs? This scenario is not a myth. It is the silent and terrifying reality faced by millions of vape users worldwide, erroneously convinced they are choosing a healthier option. As science advances, the preliminary results on the effects of vaping become increasingly disturbing, 
indicating that we are facing a true chemical and biological time bomb, the full effects of which we still completely do not know. Maybe now you're beginning to understand why some experts describe vaping as one of the great involuntary experiments of our era. We are heating and inhaling chemicals without fully understanding the potential long-term harm, a risk that no appealing advertisement should easily convince us to take. And just when you thought this couldn't get worse, I must tell you that the first medical studies are already beginning to reveal concerning effects on the human body far beyond what anyone might have imagined. Maybe until now you have thought of vaping as an abstract risk, something theoretical or distant. But what is really happening inside your body every time you inhale that seemingly harmless cloud? If you are one of those who think there isn't enough evidence to be concerned, what you are about to discover could deeply shake your perception. It's true that vaping has been on the market for a relatively short time, and we are still in the early years of scientific research. But even in this short period, the preliminary results are alarming. The first thing you should know is that your lungs are not designed to filter ultra-fine particles or harsh chemicals that come in the form of a hot aerosol. These chemicals penetrate deep into the respiratory system, causing chronic inflammation, which is your body's natural response to any threat. But what if it is prolonged? It can result in irreversible damage. Recent studies have found that frequent users of vaping show clear signs of persistent lung inflammation. What exactly does this mean? It means that each puff could slowly be bringing you closer to chronic lung diseases like obstructive bronchitis and even pulmonary fibrosis, an irreversible and devastating condition where healthy lung tissue is progressively replaced by scar tissue, severely limiting your breathing capacity. But the problem does not end in the lungs. Scientists have observed that vaping also significantly affects the cardiovascular system. The inhaled aerosol rapidly alters the inner lining of your arteries, causing endothelial damage, a worrying first step towards serious heart diseases. Recent research indicates that even young vapors, healthy and apparently active individuals, are at a higher risk of hypertension, coronary artery disease, and premature heart attacks compared to people who do not vape. If you still believe that your body is handling this habit well, consider this. Your immune system is also under constant attack. Vaping significantly weakens your ability to defend against respiratory and bacterial infections. This means that something as simple as a common cold could easily turn into pneumonia or more serious lung infections in people who vape regularly. At this point, you are probably wondering how society could so quickly adopt such a dangerous habit without sufficiently questioning its safety. Maybe it is because the more serious damages take time to manifest, which allows vaping to maintain its misleading image of safety. But don't be fooled. The real, deep, and potentially irreversible damage might already be occurring within you. If this still doesn't convince you to reconsider your relationship with vaping, wait to discover how nicotine delivered in high doses and extremely swiftly might be transforming your brain more deeply than you imagine. Nicotine is an old acquaintance of humanity, historically used in various forms, from traditional tobacco to medicinal products. But never before have we consumed it in such high doses and so quickly as now, thanks to vapes. This apparent advantage, the speed and efficiency with which these devices deliver nicotine, hides a dark reality that few seem willing to face. When you smoke a conventional cigarette, the nicotine reaches your brain in a few seconds, creating that immediate feeling of relief and satisfaction that you know well. But surprisingly, modern vapes deliver nicotine even faster and in considerably larger doses. This has a huge impact on your brain, particularly on the neural receptors that regulate pleasure and reward, unleashing a much more powerful and addictive immediate gratification response than that of traditional tobacco. Precisely, this ability to deliver large amounts of nicotine quickly has made vaping a perfect tool for generating extreme dependence, especially among the younger population. In fact, recent studies show that teenagers and young adults who start vaping can develop an addiction so strong in such a short time 
that they far exceed the dependency levels observed in conventional cigarette smokers. And the worst part is that most are unaware of being trapped until it is too late. But why does this happen? When you receive quick and constant doses of nicotine, your brain literally begins to change. The neural connections reorganize themselves to prioritize immediate pleasure, conditioning your behavior to repeat the experience over and over. This intense psychological and physiological effect causes the average vapor to consume many more daily doses than a regular smoker, entering a dangerous spiral where each dose needs to be more frequent to achieve the same effect. And here arises another alarming problem. When nicotine is received in such a fast manner, the brain's ability to self-regulate begins to progressively deteriorate. Your natural resistance to stress, anxiety or boredom is drastically reduced. Vaping, far from relaxing you or enhancing your cognitive performance in the long term, ends up becoming an emotional and mental crutch on which you increasingly depend. Perhaps the most worrying thing is that we are still in the middle of this gigantic social experiment and we do not fully know the final consequences of dramatically modifying our relationship with a powerful substance like nicotine. And that leads us to an unsettling question that we will explore in depth in the next chapter. Are we unknowingly being part of it? of one of the largest and riskiest human experiments ever conducted. Get ready, because what comes next might seriously make you rethink everything you thought you knew about vaping. How many cases of serious illnesses or premature deaths will it take before we collectively wake up? And let's demand stricter and more responsible regulations. If you're a frequent user of vaping, or if you know someone who is, maybe it's time to stop and deeply reflect on this habit. The decision you make now could make a huge difference in your future health and long-term quality of life. The power to stop this great human experiment does not lie solely with health authorities or governments. It mainly lies with each consumer. In every individual capable of questioning themselves and questioning the commercial narrative that constantly minimizes risks. In the end, History will remember vaping as a critical moment when humanity once again chose to ignore the early warning signs of danger, or as the moment when an entire generation had the courage and clarity to recognize an evident threat before it was too late. The question is simple but powerful. Which side of this story do you want to be on? Your answer can make all the difference. If you are currently suffering from any addiction, I invite you to join my group of patients at tuvisalud.com, a platform like Facebook but focused on health. There you will receive support from people who are going through the same situation as you, and I publish articles on these topics for free every day. Join, it's free, and it can save your life. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. A hug. See you in the next video.